Hello, in this video I will show you how to use ANSYS Discovery to perform a fluid flow simulation on an eco marathon car. I have already imported the geometry and have created an enclosure around the car. Next I'm going to assign the boundary conditions. For that I use the heads up display. For example, to apply an inlet, I use the flow option here, change this to inlet, and apply a velocity of 35 km per hour at my inlet. The same way I can assign the other boundary conditions. For example, you see that I have the outlet defined here at the zero gauge pressure. I have a ball boundary for the car and free stiff balls for the sides and the top surface. Next, from the simulation tab and monitor, I'm going to assign a monitor point to track the drag force on the car. My simulation is now ready to solve. Discovery is very fast in solving the simulation and as it is running you can already some, see some results. Here I'm looking at the contour of the velocity around the car. I can see the wake region here and as you can see the wake region is small which is a good sign. This means that the drag forces will not be high. I can also look at the uh, pressures on the car. So you see that at the stagnation point I have a higher pressure here. But something cool that you can do with discovery is to make changes to the geometry and see the results. So for this example I want to see what would be the effect of the length of the car on the drag force. For that I'm going to display back the geometry of the car. And I'm going to use a plane to cut the geometry of the car in half and then create a section in the middle. So I'm going to use the combine tool to cut the geometry and I'm going to move this section of the car. I'm going to add around 10% of the length of the car to this. And next, I'm going to use the blend tool to blend these two faces together. Okay, this just gives me a representation of a geometry that is longer. Remember that this is just a study that we want to do. We want to see what would be the effect of the length of the car on the drag. So next, to update the enclosure, I'm going to go to the geometry tree, right click on an enclosure, and update enclosure. So this updates the enclosure for me. The boundary conditions, they stay the same. So the inlet, the outlet. The only thing I need to make sure that is correctly assigned is the car. So I'm going to select car here, right click on it, and reselect all the faces of the car. I also need to redefine my monitor point. So for that, I'm going to right click on the monitor point, replace location, and reselect the faces of the car. Okay, now my simulation is ready to rerun. I click on solve here. And again, you can see as it's solving, I can see some results. So you can see here that the drag force has uh, slightly increased from uh, 0.61 to 0.62 Newton. In discovery, I can take my simulation one step further and do high fidelity. To do that, I'm going to go to refine mode. Once in refine mode, if you have already created your boundary conditions in explore mode, you don't need to recreate them. You all have here. For example, I have the car, I have the free stick ball, the inlet, and the outlet. So next thing I can do is to solve the calculation here. Remember that uh, you have more controls in refine mode. First of all, refine mode is uh, using Fluent Solver in the background, so it's a finite volume uh, solver. Also, you can use the, this uh, fidelity bar here to increase the fidelity, meaning that it's going to refine the mesh further. 
but you can also go to uh, global setting and determine your uh, sizing function that you want based on curvature and proximity or let the solver to do it and you can add some local sizing for your mesh so here I hit on solve so first thing that this uh, that discovery it does it creates a mesh so once this green color here is at the half of uh, polygonal I can see the mesh so here is the mesh is ready to see so I can see that the mesh is pretty refined at the core with some boundary uh, layer elements and it's coarser further from the wall I can always uh, improve the mesh by adding local sizing or by uh, reducing the proximity and curvature and proximity size functions in global sizing. So here I'll wait until the calculation is finished. Once the calculation is finished, I'm going to show you some results. So the calculation is finished and we can uh, see the results. So same post-processing tools that we used in explore mode, we can use in refine mode. Uh, for example, here we are looking at the velocity around the car. We can very well see the wake region behind the car. Okay, this wraps up this uh, demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.